What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the new GoPro Hero 4 uh, Black Edition. This is the top of the line model. Uh, GoPro actually just released three new GoPros today, October 5th. Uh, that you can actually go buy right now on their website and I'm sure it's probably up on Amazon. If it's not already, it will be soon. Uh, either way, I'll put some links down below where you can buy this. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be doing an unboxing video of it here. Now, I've actually been using the GoPro Hero 3 Plus uh, every single day uh, to do daily vlogs. If you guys don't know, I have a daily vlog channel. You can check it out right there. Subscribe. Uh, check it out if you want to. Uh, this is going to be my new daily vlogging camera, so I'm switching from the Hero 3 Plus uh, to the new Hero for Black Edition. So if you want to go see the Hero 4 Plus in action, uh, make sure you go subscribe to my YouTube channel right there. Again, that's my vlog channel. I'll be vlogging with this every single day, Monday through Friday. Uh, and probably on Tuesday, I'm actually going to have a 4K vlog because this video camera shoots in 4K. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Make sure you check that out. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into the unboxing. All right, so here's the box of the GoPro Hero 4 Black Edition. Uh, as you see right here, it says it does 4K video at 30 frames per second, uh, 12 megapixel still images, and then also it has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity. Uh, flip it over here on the side, you can see some stuff there. I'm not gonna go over all of that, uh, but flip it over the back, it tells you everything that's on the camera. Uh, this model has been much improved from the previous model, the 3 Plus, uh, the one I have that I showed you earlier, uh, which we will put, put beside this model here in just a minute. Uh, but yeah, We'll look around the box on this side also, and uh, let's go ahead and start digging into this thing now. I'm not sure exactly how I'll pull this out. Let's see. Looks like we got some plastic over here. All right. I hate when I do unboxing videos and I just have to like destroy the box uh, to get inside. <sighs> like that. I just ripped it. So I think that's good. I should be able to slide it out now. There we go. Nothing in there. All right, so it says learn more at gopro.com, and it gives me this little slip right here that I can pull. There we go. There is the GoPro Hero 4 right there on top. Check it out. All right, let's pop that open. Looks like we got a bunch of stuff down in here. Looks like we got the GoPro uh, manual. We got some GoPro stickers, uh, GoPro safety information, and then uh, disclaimers and warranty. All right, we got some more stuff down in here. Looks like we got some uh, little clips and mounts, stuff like that for the GoPro to attach to. We've got a, a USB cable, a battery. Oh, it looks like the GoPro has a new battery. I'm kinda kinda upset about that because I thought I'd be able to use all the extra batteries that I have for this one. Dang it. All right, also in here, it looks like we got a piece of casing uh, for the GoPro so you can have an open casing right there so you can hear better. I normally, I don't use the casings. Uh, obviously, that's I'm doing like a water shot or something like that or mounting it to something. And then right here, it looks like we got uh, some more little clips uh, which these have like the little sticky material that you can peel off uh, and actually stick to something. But be careful with these if you use these. I've heard of many stories of these falling off cars and stuff like that. All right, so that's everything that's inside the box. Uh, now let's get the GoPro Hero 4 uh, off the top of it. So you just gotta unscrew this thing, but it's really tight. Jeez. Oh wait, now I'm an idiot. I've gotta pinch the thing on the back. There we go, <laughs> and it pops out. And there it is, the GoPro Hero 4 Plus. Uh, it's in the casing right now. Of course, I'm gonna take it out. Uh, so let's pop that off. I don't really like these casings uh, when I'm using my GoPro for vlogging. Uh, now, one thing you may not know is the GoPro audio is actually really amazing now uh, on these cameras. Uh, since the 3 Plus, they actually upgraded the microphones in them. Uh, maybe even in the 3, I'm not sure. Uh, but these casings will actually mess up your audio a lot. So people think the GoPros don't have that amazing audio, uh, but they actually do. Can't get it to come out of there. There we go. And there it is. Look at that. That is the new GoPro. That is how tiny it is. That is ridiculous. So small. People like when they see me vlogging with this, they're like, is that a camera? Like they can't even believe that a camera is that tiny. What allows them to make the GoPro so thin like this and so tiny is they don't put an LCD screen here on the back. Now you can actually buy an attachment screen, which I have right here on my 3 Plus, which just pops out just like that. I plugs in right there and clips over on the side. And I'm sure it should fit uh, this new camera also, I'm hoping. Yep, there we go. So it fits just fine. A little cracked up, but it works. You really don't need an LCD screen because it's got wide angle, uh, but it does help because it is a touch screen. You can kind of uh, control and, and change the settings a little bit easier, uh, and you can get an idea of what you're recording, but with this wide angle, uh, it pretty much gets everything in shot. You really just point it at something, uh, and you're, you're getting it in frame. But there's another option now with the other GoPros. Uh, if you want actually a GoPro with a screen attached to it, uh, the silver edition, and I think maybe even the white edition, I actually have a LCD screen 
screen built right into it, but I'm sure it's gonna be a little bit thicker. I haven't seen them in person, uh, but I am assuming it's gonna be thicker because with this screen attached to it, uh, this camera's thicker. All right, so here I've got the three plus and the four right beside each other. Uh, so you can just see what changed about those. They pretty much look exactly the same. You can see this LCD screen now here uh, on the front has changed a little bit. It's a little bit bigger and it looks a little bit nicer. Uh, so that's pretty cool. As far as the lens, it doesn't really look any better, but I'm sure they improved it somewhat. Uh, mine's obviously a little bit scratched up on the old one, uh, and this one's looking a lot more nice and shiny, but uh, other than that, it looks the same. Over on top of the GoPro, it's changed a little bit. I noticed that the mic looks a little bit different. Here it has three holes, and here it has two, uh, so I'm hoping the microphone will be a little bit better on the new four. Uh, and the design also is a little bit different. This one has stripes, uh, where the old one had this little, like, I guess, grid pattern. It actually feels like this one, uh, the old one, has a little bit more grip. Uh, but this one, this, it's not really that much different. So here's the back of the GoPros. As you can see, here's the 3 Plus with the battery pack on the back, but now on the Hero 4, uh, the battery pack is actually here on the bottom. Uh, so you got a little button right there and it just pops out, but this one uh, kind of pops out like this. So actually the battery pack is a lot easier to get to. Uh, that is actually kind of annoying to pop back in and get out sometimes. Sometimes it won't, it doesn't want to pop out. Oh my god, my favorite change of all, which I just noticed, uh, on the old GoPro, the Hero 3 Plus, they've got a Wi-Fi button right there. I would hit this button all the time. I turn my Wi-Fi on. Now, it's a settings button uh, over here. It actually sticks out a little bit more. I wish they'd have kind of put it a little bit more flush in, but uh, now that's just going to turn settings. It's not going to turn your Wi-Fi on. A lot of times, it would be in my pocket. I would hit that little Wi-Fi button. Uh, my Wi-Fi would turn on, and then my battery would just go super fast because uh, it's trying to connect itself constantly. So yeah, that will save uh, even more battery, and there's no Wi-Fi button. Yay! All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, you did enjoy this unboxing of the GoPro Hero 4. Uh, click the like button down below this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my vlog channel, like I said before, right there, uh, so you don't miss any of my future videos coming out on the GoPro Hero 4. Expect a 4K vlog Tuesday. And uh, yeah, subscribe to this channel also, so you don't miss any tech videos and possibly the review, uh, as well as maybe even a quality test uh, coming on this. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.